car. Big prices all those runs we've seen so far from seven furlongs to a mile. So we'll need to take a step forward to shed that maiden tag today. Followed through by stable mate Gator Girl and Brian said about this one, just very one pace, so needs these first time cheap pieces. Yes, yeah, she is north from four overall, had just one start for this yard, but she hasn't beat a rival in all of her starts so far. So the cheap pieces will have to find quite a lot of improvement. The trip could be helpful for the number six, Trust Time. This horse was fifth at Newcastle a month ago, over a mile, but was running on, so should benefit from this extra distance, Trust Time. Yes, six. yeah, a son of time test, north from five overall. Midfield at Newcastle over the mile last time was gelded before that run, so that should have brought about a little bit of improvement and was beaten just two and a quarter lengths on that occasion. So he is one on form recently that should be in with a shout. Number four is Jailbird by Ortad, a filly again, who uh, should benefit from this dropping trip, reverting to turf. Uh, but this horse tired last time out, so I think this trip might suit Jailbird. Yeah, not from six overall. has had three starts this year at Wolverhampton and Lingfield. And again, is another one that's shown a fair enough level of form. Fifth when we saw her running last time, 17 days ago, beaten two and a half lengths. We need to switch, actually. We just go to towards the top of the paddock here. We've got a horse of Ed Dunlop, it's called Remonstrate, got the red hood on. It's leading that lot of horses that are just heading towards the camera position, the uh, podium now. Red hood, Remonstrate, 49 days off gelded. Now... Listening to Ross Orion, Amy, sounded like he thought he was well handicapped. He just wondered if Greenness might meet him. Still learning, but uh, he thinks whatever he does, he's one to follow, remonstrate. Yeah, son of Dark Angel, not from three overall, so lightly race, hasn't had a lot of racing. 30,000 guineas a yearling, and so far has been well beaten at big prices, but starts in handicaps off a pretty lowly mark, and like you've touched upon, has been gelded, so that could also bring about a little bit of improvement. I'm going to go with that for the selection. Are you just sitting this one out? No, I'm, I agree. I think um, Men Are Straight, I think, is lightly raced and exposed and could just be the one in the field with a bit of improvement.
Hey, hiya Tom, welcome to the Westwood, our last of the day, the 7th. Now, something funny's just happened in the paddock there. Amy had been reticent about putting up selections, then bangs in a winner, bangs in another winner, and then tips one in this, and it drifts like a bar, Jamie. So maybe the the um, punters in the ring think you're Well, you might tipped be it as well, so I maybe it was it. you that um, put people off, I don't know. Well said, well said. Thanks for that, right back at you. All right, well, what about this little rose? Let's start with um, little rose. Unexposed? On the low mark, what about the ground for this horse? Is it a question mark? Can't be as keen as at Newcastle in this going. Little Rose unexposed. Yeah, she is more from five overall. She's been ridden by a seven pound claimer her last three stars. Mm. So I just thought that with um, Tom Marquand back in the saddle, that would be a positive for her. She has shown a fair level of form. She was fourth at Newcastle when we saw her running 31 days ago, beaten six lengths after racing quite keen. Mm. So she's going to have to settle a bit better on this kind of track on yeah. these ground. Yeah, as I said, absolutely right. Remonstrate the one Amy and I have gone for. 49 days off, been gelded. That's been a key to success earlier in the day. Uh, improved up in trip. Um, on handicap debut with a 62 rating or potentially improved today on handicap debut remonstrate and it looks as though giving weight to horses that are beatable we think really don't we by dark angel still a little bit green just briefly i don't want to talk too much amy but uh rossa seemed to think he could be well enough handicapped to offset his greenness here yeah i mean he's only had three starts he's at least exposed in this field so interesting to see how he fares starting out on turf for the first time today that's a question mark he's never actually experienced mm. turf before but three runs on the all weather over a mile and a mile and a half a furlong he's being big prices those starts and pretty well beaten but yeah. he starts handicaps off a low mark mm. and he's being gelded mm. so you would hope that that could just bring about a bit of improvement mm. there. To remonstrate is to argue and try and change someone's opinion, but uh, we're on the same page here, so that's not actually needed in this instance. Little Rose is 11 to 8. Flowering's 9 to 2. Let's talk about flowering. Oshin Murphy looking for a double. Uh, ground question mark, but the dam went on it. Uh, third at Wolverhampton a couple of weeks ago, but as I said earlier in the paddock on extra needs a fast pace and sometimes they can dawdle at Wolverhampton. Did well to come from off the pace of those that were held up though. Yeah, she's very, very consistent. Not from eight overall. She's actually only had one turf start and that was on a debut at Bath back in October last year. Mm. All her other runs have been on the all weather. She's had five starts this year, so she comes into this fit and mm. race fit compared to a few. She can often get a little bit out of pace and she's actually been running over a mile and a half recently. So whether this drop back down in triple suit, I'm not too sure if she's been getting out pace on the all weather. Yeah. However, it is a stiff track, so it could play a bit more to a strength. I think it's a definite yes for Jailbird with Trip because that horse did tire last time out at Lingfield, but the drop in Trip might suit reverting to turf, but all about the Trip, less so, uh, less of a trip for Jailbird, an ideal situation. Yeah, she's a nought from six overall, three starts this year, so she's again race fit coming into this. She last ran at Lingfield over a mile and a half, finishing fifth, that was 70 days ago. But like you said, she sort of lost her position late on and weakened. So she's another one that's sort of experimenting with trips a little bit. And with trust time, again, it's tr uh, trip is the key. Should benefit from up in trip. This horse ran over a mile when fifth last time out, running on. So going up in trip, sure to suit. There's only a couple left to go. We're all in on Remonstrate. Nothing to add, Amy? Are we done? Should we go up to Mr Beverly? Yeah, I mean, very much. I think he, he, it's interesting if he's well handicapped. Flowering's very consistent, but it's uh, one of those handicaps that you're looking for a possible improver. Malcolm will be home for tea in 10 minutes after this. Over to you, Malcolm. Yeah, cheers, Peter. Just want to go here. Stall eight, flowering to complete the lineup, walking forward. Oh, stall two, not quite there. Yerlin's backed out. Flowering's gone in. So just waiting for Yerlin to come back towards stall number two. He's appearing now. She, I should say. And she's just about in. Stall handler emerging. That's it. All locked away. Set to go. Oh, they're off. Over 10 furlongs for the Blue Sky Event Services Handicap Stakes. And Little Rose began well. The dark jacket with the large yellow spots to the inside. Let me see the Colts away well in the black and blue check with the red cap. And right in behind the pace towards the inside races, Yerlin in the brown and beige. Deep out is Jailbird who's next in the field. They're followed through by Little Venice Centre Pack from Gator Girl in company with Flowering and also Remonstrate. And towards the back of the field is Trust Time as they continue their journey.
through the first two and a half furlongs or so. So approaching the final seven furlongs and up front towards the near side. It continues to be Little Rose showing the way by three parts of a length. To let me see the Colts racing second. Yerlin is close up third. Then the pink jacket of Remonstrate making ground behind the pace. Jailbird out wide of that one. Little Venice a little bit worse than centre pack from Trust Time. Flowering's well back in the pack in the very pale jacket. And the overall back marker is now Gator Girl in the black and silver. And she's been ridden along by Joanna Mason as the leaders leave the back stretch behind them and start the descent. Down the hill they come. Little Rose off the front for Tom Marquand in front by by a half length to let me see the Colts racing second. Yep. Well, Tom Marquand came all the way north from Newmarket to ride two for William Haggis. The two-year-old, the first two-year-old from the stable uh, for the season was beaten, but this filly has won the finale in the handicap for three-year-olds. Little Rose and the widest margin winner of the day by far. Flowering, a nice introduction on turf for this one who would have uh, appreciated a faster pace maybe. And third was Little Venice promising. Uh, Jailbird finished fourth. As for Remonstrate, easy to back, just too keen. You probably knew your fate. He was still green and too keen. In time, that horse, when he learns to race and uh, be more amenable, it could be one to follow at a low level, but um, we got that one wrong, but Little Rose is the winner in high-profile colours, Amy. The yeah, an easy winner off the mark of the sixth time of asking. This is just a second start on turf, and she'd been ridden by a seven-pound claimer the last few runs. Tom Marquand took over the reins today, and she's absolutely bolted up off a very lowly mark of 47. You wouldn't see many horses in these colours for this training off a mark of 47, but yeah. they persevered with her, and she's got the job done today. Well, she's a filly, so I guess that's one of the reasons, isn't it? Do you think that's why they were mad keen, just to get something next to her name? Yeah, it's just important to get a win into them and the fact that they persevered with the horse of her mark is obviously 